Till now we discussed about column shear. We calculated shear forces for the columns. Now for other forces we have to solve each joints by joint methods. So I am solving each joints one by one. Here let me take the first uh, top story of the uh, structure and here we have total three joints G, H and I. Okay, so let's take joint number G. Okay, so we have to consider only three points to solve joint G and they are G, P and M where uh, P and M are hinges. At G where there is external forces of 20 kN. Now we have to assume the direction of all the forces where you can see here red arrows showing the forces of the points. I have given the name of this forces so for point P there are two forces acting one is horizontal and one is vertical so the horizontal force is denoted as HP that is horizontal of P and VP as in vertical of P okay same for the joint number M so initially we have to assume this directions but we have to keep the correct direction of forces which are already calculated such as H of M it is nothing but the shear of the column and we already calculated it so it is showing in green color the value is 5 kN now take a moment at joint G and solve the forces if you get negative value of force then our assumed direction is wrong and we have to correct it here I am getting the value of Vm is negative and it means the direction we assume that is upward which is wrong its actual direction is downward so I have corrected it you can see that. similarly as join G you have to solve other joints for the first story H and I have a look a solution here the complete solution is solved for the first story all shear force axial forces are calculated for each beam and each column Similarly, we have to solve the bottom story each and every joints with the same procedure and also solve the bottom joints they are A, B and C with also calculating the moment at base and we know definitely that the moment is equal to force into perpendicular distance. Have a look. In this diagram, it shows the complete solution of this example with all the forces with different colors. The purple color shows the external forces of each story. The pink color shows the actual forces of columns. The green color shows the shear forces for the columns. Sky blue color shows the actual forces of beams. Orange shows the shear force of the beams. Here you can see the axial force of the internal columns is zero. So we have to understand the concept of compression and tension generated in columns. When the lateral force is acting on a frame, the tension will be generated on the forceward side and the compression will be generated on the other side of the direction like this diagram. So here you can see same values are for tension and compression at the external columns and internal column will having the zero axial force due to the symmetry 
here our frame is symmetrical so we are getting actual force zero for the internal one if there is in unsymmetrical frame the internal columns will not be having the zero actual force now let's draw the diagram for beam shear have a look in this diagram for the first story beam shear is showing by all orange color the value is 3.125 and for the bottom story the beam shear is 12.5 and we can draw like this for column shear the first story for column shear are showing in green color and the values will be different for the external columns and internal columns so for the first story they are 5 kN, 10 kN and 5 kN respectively and for the bottom story they are 12.5 kN, 25 kN and 12.5 kN respectively. Now let's draw the diagram for beam shear. Have a look in this diagram. For the first story beam shear is showing by all orange color. The value is 3.125. And for the bottom story, the beam shear is 12.5 and we can draw like this. For column shear, the first story for column shear are showing in green color and the values will be different for the external columns and internal columns. So for the first story, they are 5 kN, 10 kN and 5 kN respectively. And for the bottom story, they are 12.5 kN, 25 kN and 12.5 kN respectively. For drawing axial forces, let's start with beam axial forces. You can see in this diagram, the beam axial forces are showing by sky blue color arrows. Okay, they are here and for the uh, first story, they are 15 kN and for the second bay it is 5 kN for the bottom story a beam axial force for the uh, first bay it is 22.5 and for the second bay it is 7.5 and you can draw the beam axial force like this have a look for column axial forces you can see in the diagram that our internal column having the actual force zero as we already discussed the concept behind that okay and the pink arrow shows the values for the column actual forces for both ex external columns okay and you can see that here uh, there are two different uh, sign for um, both external columns one having a negative sign and one having the positive sign that shows the tension and compression in the columns for bending moment diagram for beam or column um, you can draw like this okay and we know that what is bending moment force into perpendicular distance so if i want to draw a bending moment diagram for beam it will be like this 3.125 multiply by Four, and that is half of this half distance of this bay okay and you can have the value 12.5 and how you can draw the bending moment diagrams for beams and columns and how we can finish our complete example with all the solution uh, solution of Bending moment diagram, actual force diagram and shear force diagram. Thank you.